Hi all, and a very warm welcome to the Weekender Grassroots Weekender Show. I said that backwards, didn't I? I've had a tough weekend, I've had a tough week. Well, boy, wow, <clears throat> what a weekend we've had. We've been out and about in the North Liverpool JFL and also to the Walton and Keardale JFL. Um, basically, promoting respect, respect, on and off the field of play. Talking to parents, talking to managers, talking to the kids talking to committees it's been amazing and I'm, I'm i've got to hold my hands up and just say this has been the best respect awareness weekend ever and i can't do anything but thank everyone who's participated in it throughout their leagues throughout their cup finals throughout their games all over the place and especially from london from rob lindsay and all his team there i'm going to put a page together i'm going to thank everyone personally who've been in touch and wearing those t-shirts and buying the t-shirts and even the the ref spec wristbands. Honestly, the referees are loving them and we're loving the support that we're getting off many, many referees out there. Even the kids would ask me all questions today. Now, Liverpool and Everton were supposed to pull up on their website. I'm not too sure. I've got to dig in and look for them and find out the links. Um, but I was on Radio Merseyside yesterday and I've got some great feedback, thank you very, very much indeed. I was messaging, messaging quite a few people, so it was nice to know that people were listening and tuning in to the Radio Merseyside show. And that happened at the North Liverpool JFL. And it happened to be Cup to final day there as well. So it made respect that little bit tougher, only because it's Cup finals and we all know there's a little bit more passion in Cup finals than there is when you're playing throughout the league. And I also today watched my grandson's team and they show loads of respect. I have got the mums there as well. They're now set in stone. They're committed respect. They were holding them all up. So um, they have to respect our referees. Anyway, the kids loved it. We were talking away to them all. And it was just a fantastic day. On Saturday, it was actually Baltic. It was really, really cold. Uh, the wind was blowing, it was summer's out, but honestly that wind was freezing. Anyone who's out in there will agree with me where they come from. That's on Merseyside. Wherever you are, honestly, lost our call as well. Battered it all out. Everyone was amazing. And all the county FAs also, as I say, we're going to make a list of them. And we'll do something next week and give you all a fantastic mention. Because we've still got tomorrow evening where the referees will be wearing our T-shirts during the warm-ups. And I'm sure you'll carry on respect because respect is not just for Christmas, it's not just for the weekend, it's here to stay. Wherever you are, we want you to carry it on and remember, without the referee, there is no game. It's as simple as that. We explained why on yesterday's show, why there is no referee, why the referee, no ref, no game basically. And obviously, managers do not like doing it. And it was a full house today, loads of referees turned up today, it was brilliant. Like yesterday, it was great. Everyone enjoyed themselves. I've had no poor feedback. I might get some later. It's just been hectic. And listen, it's a ref spec awareness weekend. In a real world, it'd be perfect. We wouldn't have had any problems whatsoever. But I know there'll be leagues out there who are feeding back information, referees feeding back information, teams feeding back information about unwanted behaviour. We know that because there will be some people you just don't give a damn about it and they'll carry on being irate towards referees and each other. Unfortunately, that will happen. We know that. We're expecting that. We're expecting poor feedback on some games. Unfortunately, that's what we will get. But with the awareness weekend, with what we're doing, that is what it's all about. Trying to promote good behaviour on and off the field of play towards our referees, who, as we always say, are the targets. Thanks very much for all the managers also. Yeah. Yeah, coaches I was talking to and people asked me questions about... Um, I, I actually, I'll, I'll explain there yesterday, uh, today, that I blocked a person. First time in my life... Oh, sorry. First time in my life I blocked someone on social media. Um, because of the unwanted... We, we talk about bringing people together. We talk about people being good and the, the behaviour. And these are from leagues... We, we talk about everyone, we're trying to help every referee out there. We can't be everywhere, no one can be everywhere. 
leagues of individuals and we get some leagues, as I say, messaging us and telling us that they have no problems whatsoever. They never have done, they never will. I don't know how you can forecast that, but people are getting in touch with me left, right and centre. If you could see my phone and the amount of messages that I'm receiving and honestly 99.9% of them, but today has been 100% positive, thanking us for the work that we're trying to do. Trying to, and we're saying trying because it's hard. We are trying. We're going to continue this week in, week out. Whatever there's grassroots football, we will continue this until the ki all the kids get the message. But we got, we've got to rely on managers, coaches out there. And we know you are a role model. You need to portray this message within your clubs. Not just to boost us and bolster, bolster us. It's to boost and bolster yourselves. That's what we're trying to do for, to make your club 100% if possible. And as we just said there, in a real world, that would be fantastic. But if you do nothing about supporting referees and you don't go over and talk to your irate managers, coaches, or even your spectators, then it's going to last. You managers do play a big role and committee members in your teams. So if you know this is going on, you have to go out there and help them as well. You have to get involved. You have to pass that message on and try and get rid of these irate spectators, parents, whoever it may be, even managers or coaches, because it does happen. But today and yesterday, I have honestly seen absolutely superb behaviour from everyone adhering to it. People thanking me, people patting me on the back, shaking my hand, touching fist, whatever it may be, even the referees thanking me for the work that we're doing. And that goes not just on Merseyside, from all over the country. Private messages, I've got tons and tons of them. It's, it's actually going to take me a week to get through them all. I really do. And there'll be more coming in, I know. And Nathan from the FA as well, it's been absolutely tremendous. Helped me support it, sharing it like most of you have been. Sharing the post, putting posts up, showing the photographs. Brilliant. What more could we ask for? And I'm hoping to get a lot more off the PGMOL tomorrow with all the Premier League referees wearing this year's t-shirts around the Premier League ground. There was on one sent to me yesterday from Radio 5 Live, BBC Radio 5 Live, of uh, Martin Atkinson wearing our t-shirt at the Brentford Tottenham game. Brilliant, that's just one of them. So if you've got any photographs that you've taken of the referees, please, please send them in to me. Mal at don'textheline.com. Now we go back to the blocking side of things. Some people, I don't know, who have never ever met um, are hell-bent on throwing all kinds of spanners in the works. That's what it is. Which they're trying to put something down, something that's not there, trying to make a big deal out of things. Like us selling the wristbands and t-shirts to try and bring awareness to the campaign. We have to try and bring money in. Look what we're doing for grassroots football. We're trying to bring it to each and every one of you out there. And with the awareness, with the podcast and with the camera, we're trying to do that. And when we go outside as well, we talk to you. We bring it to you there. We wear these t-shirts for the awareness. The referees are wearing them for the awareness. It's advertising. It's portraying respect. Don't cross the line. That's what it's all about. But to be questioned and ask what we do for grassroots referees... It beggars belief. I can't answer that. You should know what we're trying to do for grassroots referees. And I can't believe that I am getting slated off one person. And that is the question that they asked. Just because they asked that question. Believe me, there's a lot more to it. And I think all the managers and everyone who got in touch with me and asked me what's going on. I've explained to them. I've given my side. But I'm not going to go on social media and cause a war that this pays them once. This is what they want. This is the reason why people, and the question is, this person and the league said, and the officials, they don't want to support this weekend. They don't believe in it, basically. That's okay. Everyone has their opinion. If you don't want to support it, I am not support, I'm not forcing you. But what I put out on a post is, when I get asked by the media, who I support. My answer is always going to be everyone who supports me. 
So if you don't support it, what is the use of following us? Because we're all about respect on social media. We're all about don't cross the line. Why do you want to be part of us if you do not support this? That is my answer, and that's all I'm going to say. And honestly, the person who does not want to support it, if you want to come in and talk to me in the podcast studio, the door is open. We can talk to it, let the world know exactly what your problems are, what you feel against us. And also for a, a site, an organised site of Merseyside Grassroots Football, who have stopped all the messages that we put out, the posts, and the admin will not respond. I do not know why, but it doesn't hurt me, it doesn't harm me, it doesn't bother me. If you don't support it, you don't have to. And as we said to Liverpool County FA, I think all the leagues have been sent an email, um, correct me if I'm wrong, um, Natasha sent an email out to every league on Merseyside asking them or telling them what the action was that was going on within grassroots football this weekend. But if you wanted to support it, you could. If you didn't, you don't have to. And there was something mentioned about codes of conduct. We're not asking any league to sign up to our codes of conduct. Not in a million years. It's entirely up to yourselves, yes, if you want to support it. All we're saying is, we can't understand if you don't want to support abusive behaviour towards or aggressive behaviour towards our referees. That's entirely up to yourselves. People are saying they're doing their own thing. We have been going for 19 years. We're not stepping on your toes. We're working together with you. But people don't want to work with you. That is fair. That is, honestly, that is not a bother to don't cross the line and to themselves. We'll just carry on with our voluntary organisation. That's what we are, a community interest company, the next best thing to a charity. That is all we're doing. We're passing the message out and we're doing it live. You're welcome into the studio to tell me why you don't support verbal abuse or aggressive behaviour towards referees. And what you think of us, what you think. Question me, ask me. I've sent millions of emails and I've always responded back on social media. But social media sometimes gets out of hand, as the Waltman Curtail Junior Football League will tell you. When you say we're part of that, we're part of every single league, um, we, we get accused of not going to certain leagues. But some leagues are telling me they've got no problems. I don't need to go if you've got no problems. If you've been to a league, a football league in grassroots football, please tell me if you have no problems whatsoever, week in, week out. And honestly, we'll commend you. That's where all the cameras should be. That's where all the media should be. Because you are absolutely perfect. You can say about academies not having any problems. The reason is they're scared of their kids getting moved out of that academy. That is why. But those same pay people, I beg parents, can come to a grassroots game and all hell can go loose, break loose. That's all we're saying. We are part and parcel of every junior league in the country. We want you to be on our side. We want to support yourselves. That's all we can say. We're here as a team. We're not stepping on anyone's toes. And as I say, we've been going since 2003. What other organisation with Don't Cross Line, with the Respect campaign, has been going? If you've been going longer than that, that's fantastic. Well, well done. But we've got football's governing bodies, Premier League clubs, everyone on board trying to support us. Many leagues out there who support us. And I was talking to Dave today at the Walton Curtail. Bob and Connor yesterday, they'll always support us. They're not going to knock us back if we're going out and stop six people from abusing a referee. That's what they're for. But can we just say as well, please, anyone who thinks that we are part of it on the committee of the leagues, we're not. We're independent. We're a campaign that will walk around, work alongside the committees, work alongside county FAs, work alongside any league in the country if we're there. That's all we are. We're just an independent, not-for-profit organisation trying to make a difference. And I'm sure that is all we can say. We're not against anyone, but if someone keeps bombarding me with questions and, and asking me why I'm selling wristbands, why I'm selling T-shirts, that is not going to cure verbal abuse or aggressive behaviour towards referees. It's not. We know that but at least it's going to get the message out there and that is what this awareness weekend is all about. 
We've got hundreds of supporters out there, if not thousands. Honestly, we're trying to make a difference and we don't need thorns. We don't need people jumping on there, trying to take the limelight, trying to give us a bad name for nothing. Because all we do is good. And please, I'm sure any referee, any other person out there, grassroots football family, will send us a message of support. Get on the social media. That's all I like to see, good things on social media. I don't like to see bad things that people are trying to do to commit and get as much support as they can with them because sometimes it backfires. You know, the Walton Caretail League, every league, the North Liverpool League, they're all trying their best. They are. They're all going to get problems. No one's going to cure any of these problems overnight. No one's going to cure them over years. We all need to work together to cure problems. The committees are doing a brilliant job. You've always heard me turn round and say, without committees, there will be no fixtures. I always speak highly of committees, so I don't know why one committee or a, a, a team of referees are going against us and don't believe in what we're doing. That's all I'm saying. That is why I block, because I can do without someone coming back and accuse me of not doing anything for grassroots referees. What do I do? Okay, I'll leave that one with you. And also, I hope that whatever you are, whatever you're doing in grassroots football, that you are amazing and you're just trying to, there to do what we're doing, is develop the kids to play football, give them encouragement, nothing wrong with passion, and also to our referees who want to develop their careers and want to move on. <coughs> give them as much support as you possibly can. There's our little card there, look at it. As we said yesterday, planting the message early for grassroots football. Don't cross the line. They are our little cards. We come up with little logos, little slogans, and we just want everyone to, to adhere to them, to help us, to support us. We don't want to go against any county FA. They don't want to support us. That's entirely up to themselves. There must be reasons why they don't want to. But if, if that's the case, you yourselves, grassroots football family, you ask those people why they don't want to support us. Don't just listen to one story and put it all out as the work that we do. If you've got something against that, get invited. Come into the studio. Let's talk about it. Let the whole world know what you have against us. You're welcome. Honestly, you really are welcome. And please watch this space because we want to try and get messages across through the studio about junior leagues. People want to have an adult conversation and explain to them exactly how leagues are run and we're hoping to have the secretary of the Walton Caretail coming in in the very near future because I think some committees have just had enough of social media and getting slated that people who are slating them don't even go or play in leagues and this is what we see social media can be a nice place to be sometimes but it can also be harmful and stressful to a lot of people who are putting grassroots football on so it should be a very, very interesting conversation. I'm looking forward to it, and I think the whole of the grassroots football family will look towards it as well. We all have bad days, we know that. Every one of us, we all have stressful, stressful days, but we want to cure them. And together, we can. All we're saying, we love and thank your support. Everyone has participated within this. We're not against it, we're not stepping on toes. We don't want the limelight, we don't want the glory, we want to work together with you. But some people have it in their mind that we want to take everything away from them. And they don't like the support we're getting. I don't know why those people are out there. I don't know why those people are in grassroots football. Because all I want to see is every child in there develop their skills and I want to see them happy. Every child, not just a particular team. Every one of them, no matter who they are, the opposition, we're there for you. Every single referee, we're there for you. I read parents, we're there to try and calm you down. If we can, if we can make a difference to you and stop you being irate towards referees, committees or anyone else, then I think it's job done. And I think we've got you on our side and we want you on our side. And that's all we're trying to do. Build a team, a massive team, to make a difference. Together, we can do this. Thank you very, very much indeed for tuning in. Thanks for all your support for the Respect Awareness Campaign. I've ho I hope I've explained myself well. I hope I don't have to explain again what we do 
for grassroots referees. Go on the website www.dontextheline.com. See what we're all about. Come and see what we're all about. See what we do for grassroots football. And even talk to me when you see me out and about. Have a great evening. Thank you very much for all your support. Let's carry on with respect. Week in, week out. Day in, day out. And make a difference in grassroots football. And give those referees an opportunity to develop. And the kids a chance to develop as well. Have a great evening. Have a great week. We'll see you on Friday with young commentators. In the meantime, put your feet up, relax, and just enjoy the derby score. We've done this before the derby. I don't know what it is, but I'm sure we'll talk about it at the weekend. Good night, God bless.